hello and welcome to the channel today in this video we'll draw this model from start cut cam side we'll draw this model as a practical exercise in free cut if you like the content i have been producing please subscribe to the channel and if you want to donate to the channel you can do so accessing qualify site link to this page can be found on the description of this video thank you create a new document and now here select part design or bench and next create a new body and a new sketch this first sketch here will create in will create in x plane okay and what we will draw in this sketch here will be a section for this part here so here we select polline tool and now we draw this line here and now this line and this vertical line and now this line and now this line here in this way and next here we'll set the constraints of this sketch so first here we have this angle here so we come back here and we select this constraint here and now select these two lines and now we can set angle of fifth degrees and okay and next here as you can see we have this horizontal dimension here 56 so here for this we select this constraint here and for this line here we'll set the half of 56 okay and now we have to set this vertical dimension here so we select this line here and for this line we'll set a length of here we see 12 we set 12 and now we'll leave this sketch here and next select this revolution tool and press home and set ok and what we'll do next next here we'll create a sketch for this part here and next we'll do this pocket so here we create a new sketch and here we select the YZ plane okay and now switch to section view and now go to sketch geometers and what we do here here we select this this tool here rounded rectangle and we draw this rectangle in this way and next select this line tool and draw this line in these two lines here okay and now select this trim tool and trim these two lines okay and now here select these arcs and lines and delete okay and next here we select this merge constraint and we set these two endpoints merge to this vertical line okay and next here we'll set the dimension of this sketch here so as we can see in this string page here we have a range of three for this arc here so here we select this constraint and we set three here okay and now here we see this vertical distance here eight millimeters so what we do here here we select this vertical distance tool and now First here we drag this point okay and now select this constraint again and now select this origin point and now this point here and set eight millimeters okay and and now here we see 15 to the length of this line here so we select this constraint here and we set 15 okay and now here select this horizontal constraint and select this end point and now this origin point and next leave the sketch and now we go to the pad tool and first here we set cement to plane and the length here will set the old set the length of 66 this dimension here and okay now we have this and what we'll do next next we'll create these pockets here so here we go to model and now clicking this arrow of this revolution here and here we'll copy the sketch okay so here select this sketch and okay and now pass the sketch in this document and drag the sketch into this body here and now space bar to make this sketch visible and now here we'll change some dimensions of this sketch here so double click here and switch to section view and here we'll change these dimensions here these two dimensions so double click in this dimension here and here we'll set 28 minus the value of the thickness 
so here we set this formula and OK. And for these dimension here, we'll set the same. OK, and now leave the sketch. And next here, go to the subtractive tools and select the groove tool. OK, and as you can see, now we have this pocket here. So select OK. Yes. And next, go to model again. And now click in this arrow here and copy the sketch. OK, and now we pass the sketch in this document and drag the sketch into this body here. Space bar and now double click. Switch to section view and here we'll change these dimensions here. We'll change the radius and this vertical and the horizontal dimension here. So now double click in this dimension. And here we'll set the formula 3 minus 1.2. Okay, and for this vertical link here, we'll set 8 minus 1.2. Okay, and here we'll set 15 minus 2.4. Okay, and now we'll leave the sketch and we'll go to the pocket tool. We set cement to plane, and now here we set trogol. And as you can see, now we have this pocket. So we set OK. And, and what we'll do next? Next, here we'll create this cylinder here. Okay. So here we select this face here and we create a new sketch and now select the cycle tool and here we'll draw two cycles. Okay, draw this first cycle and now this cycle here and now select this constraint here. And for this cycle here we'll set a diameter of 15, this dimension here. And for this cycle here, as you can see here we don't have the dimension. So here we'll set 15 plus 2.5 and OK. And next we'll leave the sketch and what we'll do next, next we'll change the attachment of the sketch. OK, so here we go to model and select the sketch here. And then click on mouse and go to attachment editor. And here what we'll change is the Z duration. So here we'll set a formula. Here we'll set 19 minus 12, 19 minus 12, and OK. And next here we we'll go to the path tool, and we we'll check this option, reverse it, and here we'll set the length of, OK. Here we we'll change the tab to, we we'll select this option, up to face, and here we we'll select this face here, and now we'll click OK. OK, as you can see now we have this operation here and next here we'll draw these two cylinders here so here we have to select this face here and create a new sketch and now switch to section view and select the cycle tool and now we draw these two cycles and these two cycles we set equal okay and we set smart Okay, and next here we'll set the diameter of these cycles to here we we'll see five millimeters. Okay, and the distance between these center points here we'll set here we we'll see twenty-eight millimeters. Okay, and now we'll leave this sketch here and we go to the path two. We set reverse it and now we change the link to here we'll change the link to eight millimeters. Okay, and now we have this. And next here we'll create these two cycles. Okay, so here we select this face and we create a new sketch. Okay, and here we drew two cycles. So select the cycle tool and draw this cycle and now this cycle here and now select this constraint here. And here we see a diameter of eight for this cycle here. So we select the cycle and we set eight. And for this cycle here we'll set eight plus two point five. And now leave the sketch. 
okay and select this path too okay and here we set reverse it and and we change the type here to up to face and we select this face here and now set ok and what we'll do next next here we'll create this this part here so here we create a new sketch in axis plane switch to section view click in this icon and now here we select this external jump tool and we extract this edge here this edge and this edge Okay, and now select this polyline tool and click in this line here. Now in this line and and now draw this horizontal this vertical line and now click in this endpoint here. Okay, and next here we'll set the distance here. So we select this horizontal distance tool and for these two points here we'll set 0 0.5 millimeters and here we'll set 0 0.5 okay and for these two points here we can set the same dimension 0 0.5 and now we leave the sketch and we go to the path tool and first here we set symmetrical plane and we change the length here to 1.2 millimeters okay and as you can see now we have this operation here so we set ok and next select model and now this operation here and we go to the mirror tool and set ok and as you can see now we have this okay and what we'll do next next here we'll create these pockets so here we select this face and create a new sketch and now here we extract this edge and these two edges of these cylinders and here we'll draw cycles in these center points okay and now we set equal constraints here these two arcs these two cycles equal and now these two cycles and select this constraint here and the diameter of this cycle here will set here we have five millimeters for this cycle here so here we'll set five minus two point four and now leave this sketch and select this pocket tool and we change the type here to draw ball and now as you can see we have these pockets here so we set okay and it's all so as you can see we finished the design of this model so thank you for watching this video